Hello, NASDAQ followers, and welcome to another episode of NASDAQ Spotlight. I'm your host, Leanne Alfaro. We're coming to you live from Times Square, New York City, where you just saw Nucana ring the opening bell. Now, they are a biopharmaceutical company focused on improving the survival outcomes of cancer patients. Joining me right now to talk a little bit more about it is Hugh Griffith, who's CEO. Welcome. Hi. Lovely to be here. Uh, lovely to have you. Tell us a little bit about Nucana's mission and what the company does. Okay, so Nucana's mission is to transform chemotherapy mm -hmm. and make it more effective and safer. And we believe we're pioneering a new era in oncology. And now, why did you decide to start it? And tell us a little bit, Nucana, the name itself, actually okay. derives from your mission statement. Yeah, it does. So the name Nucana, it represents new cancer agents, mm -hmm. and particularly nucleotide analogs, which is a special type of chemotherapy agent. And the reason I founded Nucana, gosh, 11 years or so ago was, I was developing a drug in a previous company for uh, children with leukemia. And it was for those children who had exhausted all other treatment options. Options. And in that company, we were able to develop the first drug to be approved in 20, 30 years specifically for that hardest to treat patient group. And along that journey, I came across this technology and I thought, gosh, the previous drug was great, but this is even better. So it had to be the next mission in my life to really try and take this to patients so they can benefit from it. So this new technology, you're talking about the Proti technology, I am. which is the foundation of Nucana and a lot of what you offer. What is this Proti technology and how does it increase the efficacy of chemotherapy? Great. So essentially what it is, is uh, we've got chemotherapy agents, which are the backbone of treatment for most patients with cancer. You know, they'll reach for them at some stage during their treatment. Uh, requirements. But the challenge with a lot of these chemotherapeutic drugs is actually the cancer cells are resistant to them. Uh, so that means that they just won't work. And it also, they can be associated with some unpleasant side effects that you just don't want. Now, what our proti technology does, it's really clever medicinal chemistry, is we overcome these resistant challenges with the chemotherapy. So we get much higher levels of the active drug inside the cell. So hopefully we'll kill more cancer cells and be more effective. But secondly, we don't release some of the toxic byproducts. So we also make these medicines safer. Mm -hmm. So essentially we're taking the backbone of treatment and making it more effective and safer. And talk to me a little bit about the clinical results that we've seen so far. Yeah, we've been really encouraged. So like all drug developments, you start early and then you move through the phases of development. Mm -hmm. But even in those early programs, we were able to see really significant reductions in the tumor size, the tumor volume of patients where everything else had failed. So that was really encouraging seeing those early efficacy signals. We've gone on and built on that now and we're able to compare our drug, our protides activity against the current standards of standards of care and what we're seeing is greater tumor shrinkage and for longer and also quite a favorable safety profile so again hopefully less toxic now these drugs aren't approved yet they're still in clinical development but we're trying to spend every waking hour that we can find to really expedite the development of these what we believe important new class of medicines and bring them through to patients as quickly as possible and we know how important time is, especially when patients are, are diagnosed with cancer. What is in the pipeline for Nucana and when can we possibly expect to see this technology available? Okay, so we've got three of our protides already in the clinic. Mm -hmm. The most advanced one is a protide that we call a Celerin, mm -hmm. and that's just entering a global phase three study, so the last stage in the development process for patients with biliary tract cancer. Now, why that's important is no drug has ever been approved for biliary tract cancer before. So it's a real unmet medical need. But we've seen some lovely activity, really nice, strong efficacy with this drug and an acceptable safety profile. So we're taking that forward in this global program, but we're also developing that agent for other cancers such as ovarian cancer, uh, lung cancer, pancreatic cancer. And then the second protide, that's a little bit earlier in the development pathway, but we want to expedite that very quickly. And our initial focus is patients with colorectal cancer. Mm. And those studies are ongoing right now, and more data will come from those over the th next three, six, nine months, et cetera. 
And then the third drug is actually, that's a very novel nucle nucleoside or chemotherapy drug. It's never been approved before, but we've transformed it into what we believe will be more effective and safer uh, medicine. And that's for different solid tumors, and that's in the early stage of clinical development right now. So we're super excited. We've got three in the clinic and several more fast followers coming through as well. Certainly seems like a very fast-paced environment, Hugh, and you're making a lot of progress. So congratulations, and we all know how important this work is, especially for, for diagnosed patients and people who know someone. Great. No, and thank you, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to highlight Nucana's uh, mission and story to everybody. Well, we certainly hope to have you back in studio again very soon. Thank you. Thank you, NASDAQ followers, for joining us here on another episode of NASDAQ Spotlight. Was his, that was the CEO of Nucana, that's Hugh Griffith, now listed under NASDAQ, ticker symbol NCNA. Stay tuned, join us for more coming to you live right here from the market site.